Oh, so just a few minutes to 1 p.m., lawyers for South Dai MP, um, Daffy Mepo, came to Shraj to present a petition here. I have the lawyer here. Let me ask him just a few questions that have come out of it. So we, we have seen the reports that you have made reference to, mm -hmm. that you are trying to petition Shraj to look through. Correct. But from what we have seen from the presidency in itself, mm -hmm. the presidency says this, at best, this is a catalog of personal grievances. Why, why do you think there's substance in this report for which you are yeah. petitioning Shraj? And this is even why it is even a perfect time for us to come to Shraj. Because clearly the president has given a signal that he's not interested in the report. Uh, we think that as a former minister of environment, he's a man of stature. Professor Boate is not just any ordinary person. And the allegations he makes are not bare allegations. These are allegations that he has supported with facts, letters. And in fact, in his other two responses he made, he added more facts, more letters. And so this is somebody that we believe, given the proper forum, independent forum where he knows he has no fear for his life and he knows he will be protected which charge has the mandate to do i'm sure he will even give us more we cannot brush this under the carpet unfortunately we cannot agree with the president that this is something that can be brushed under the carpet we refuse to brush it under the carpet because this is not an issue that is simply one for us to just take for, for granted this is not one of the things that you as they say you he can clear this is a matter that borders on life and death this is a matter that touches our water bodies this is a matter that touches on the economic rights of the people that are in those areas affected. Farming, for example. All those areas are complaining about farming issues. The fact that their farming and cash crops are being destroyed. The pollution of the soil, the pollution of the water bodies. These are human rights matters, and so I'm sorry. But if the president thinks that this is hearsay, we disagree with him. That is why we've come to the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice, and we expect to get justice. I mean, again, you haven't spoken to the part about whether you think it has substance. The presidency again says that Obviously, they, they 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 are, there's no evidence in it that substantiates it some of the allegations he made. It is not for the president to make that determination. He has looked at the report, and he says that, in his opinion, he doesn't see any merit in it, and that he talked about issues of transmission of the report and how the report should have been. We don't care about that. We care about the substance in the allegations. There are serious allegations, and we believe that the strike will bear it out. We have no personal grievance against anybody, but the point is this. The Honorable Member of Parliament has oversight responsibility. He has seen the report. He believes that the report contains enough basis for investigations. And luckily, the architecture of our constitution has made it clear that when it comes to allegations of corruption, abuse of public office, and human rights violations, it is not the presidency that we go to. It's a shadow that we come to. And that is why we are here. Now, how, how soon do you expect something meaningful to come very, out of this petition? Soon. We, we have an acknowledgement letter we expect from the shrug tomorrow. We intend to be here every week. And so every week you will find me here following up, asking questions, because we expect public hearings to begin. All we have is to meet the threshold of having have enough to be able to investigate it. Once Shrag begins to write to us and deal with the matter, so clearly we will make this a public issue. This matter is not going to go away. If anybody for any moment thinks that this matter is going to go away, it's a lie. You and I have a responsibility. Imagine you wake up one day, you cannot find drinking water. How would it be for you? We cannot all afford to buy water. We all cannot afford to have our soils destroyed. We all cannot afford to fly out whenever we, we are hungry or whenever we need water, whenever we need medical attention. Ghana is all that we have, and so we have a responsibility to protect it. But Not just okay. for us, for the future generations as well. But one who asks, what is the interest of your client? My this is something that I, uh, we've heard from Atu, forcing um, from parliament that is going to go to parliament. So what was the personal interest of your, of your client? The parliamentary group has parliament. If parliament also wants to exercise oversight, so be it. But Shraj is to deal with accusations of corruption. Even parliament does not have the mandate to deal with corruption. So clearly, if you have allegations of corruption, abuse of public office, and human rights violations, even parliament cannot deal with human rights violations. Shraj is that place. And the matters that have been mentioned deal with these specific issues. The right to life, the right to economic rights, the right to have water, the rights, the, the issues of corruption, allegations of abuse of public office. These are not matters that you can go to the presidency or to uh, parliament. The president says he's not interested. Those are his words. So clearly, we have to move on. So, again, how wide should the scope be for Shraj? We, we've had the report wide. mentioned both NDC and MPP members within this particular uh, um, document. Why should anybody be concerned about um, political colorations? Shraj is not interested in political colorations. Shraj is interested in its mandate, which is to protect you and I as Ghanaians. 
So let the axe fall where it may. What is important is we need to bring an end to this particular menace. And if this is the only way we can do it, let's name and shame those people. Okay. Let me thank you very much. So that's lawyer um, Nick Pako Ado. He is representing um, MP for South Dai. That is Roxin Nelson Dafia Mekpo. And they just a few minutes ago submitted a petition to Shraj to look into some of the allegations, if so you want to call it, that was presented by the former um, chairperson of the Intermediate Committee for Illegal Mining. Well, they want this to proceed smoothly. Um, also, uh, investigation should start as soon as possible. They promised that they'll be here every single day, or at least every week, once a week, to check on the progress of the uh, petition. We'll bring you some more reports when we have it for Joy News. Michael Ashali. Thank you.